Hello guys, Vengeance are here, bringing you another video. Uh, today, if I can get my uh, thingy to stop trying to record. Hold on. So this doesn't this vi this uh, game doesn't record as well as the others. So it has my bottom bar on there, and I don't know why. This may not work. Mm -hmm. Let's do it this way. There we go. That way, whenever I click off, it's just going to go black. So bear with me. So this is Last Chaos, the first game I ever played, not the first video game I ever played, but the first MMORPG I ever played. And I've been revisiting it, uh, grinded it for like the last four or five days in the background. Let me buff this little guy up. If it'll actually work. You gonna work now? Apparently the buttons don't work in, uh... Controls are very wonky on this thing. I can't believe I played this for three years. Uh, but... I wanted to do just a one-off video on it. I don't expect this to get very many views um because it's an old game no one wants to watch it uh but originally area games owned this the rights to it and everything and when i played it before they were atrocious as far as cash shop goes they're worse than black desert uh the game ago took it over game ago however you want to say it I, mean, I don't know they took it back over they have the rights to it now and they have for a while for several years and they've changed a lot of stuff the game is in a state now of where i wish it was whenever i played it's still not a great game it's point to click it's, it, you know it's tab target you move you can move with the mouse or wasd uh, you target with tab or click on stuff to attack it, and then you got your hotkeys. So it's like the old style of uh, MMORPG. It's not action combat by any means. It's a lot easier on my fingers and my f hands, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but RNG, you think BDO's bad with the RNG. You got RNG here where you kill, the, kill monsters, and there's a very small chance it's going to drop something, a piece of armor, loot that kind of thing and then if it's armor it's also class specific stuff right so i'm playing a titan and the other classes are as such so you get these and if the higher the higher level armor like 75 73 and above a lot of it is sealed so when you drop it keep going in and out because you got this debuff and if it ticks to zero you die in this place uh when you drop it it has sealed secret properties so you have to identify it which a magnifying glass that costs you a million gold and then it's random the uh the attribute so more rng uh, i managed to get my hands on the best set i can get yet right now uh it it uses the uses the traditional uh you know white and then it goes on up to yellow white yellow green blue uh purple there is no gold or orange or whatever you want to call it in this game for quality uh but i think i've killed everything in this room I'm to a point where I'm leveling on here, and the the cash shop incentive is they sell things like boosters, 
costumes, XP boost, uh, item drop boost to account for their crappy RNG. And uh, we'll scroll back to town real quick. And that kind of stuff. But what ends up happening is if you don't have that stuff and you don't spend real money, I mean, you're just kind of stuck grinding. So, and of course, you can teleport pretty much anywhere to any NPC with these scrolls. <coughs> and that dungeon I was doing is a personal dungeon, so it resets every time you leave it. So we just reset and run back in. Uh, it does not remember where your character is when you load in, so you always load in the same spot, the main town, uh, the starting town, you always load in. It's instanced maps, so you click the teleporter and it takes you to the map. Anybody else that goes in, except for these personal style dungeons, uh, like this one I'm in, but if... If you're in one that's not a personal dungeon, it, anybody else will load in. So it's kind of open world, but it's instanced, you know, to where you have to hit the teleporter to go to the next zone. It's not a continuous world. I'm running past all these monsters because they have blue names. They're they're not worth killing. They won't give me any anything. Except for these, they're magic, so I have to get rid of them so they're not feeding on me. Because the character I'm playing is weak to magic. But I just want these cleared out so I can run in and out of this other room up here. Got a bunch of different skills. And then carry a big sword. But the game... Is... Um, it's okay. And used to it was a lot worse. You couldn't hardly level at all without uh, paying real money and boosters and stuff. But I have not spent anything since I remade my account. Uh, my account got deleted. I had it originally a 117, and that was back when the level cap was 165. I had a 117, uh, different character than this. Which I was hoping to get to the point of playing, but it's taken me a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh, there's nobody really playing, so there's no one selling real money items. Because I could get like the XP boosters and stuff. From other people if there was anyone actually playing and selling the items but there isn't there's like three or four people in the middle of town and there that place used to be so packed that you couldn't even hardly walk through there without lagging out but now it's it's just a ghost town um, but I like to revisit some from time to time just to see what's going on and I would like to level my uh, this little guy this Titan to a state of being at level 90 and then when you get to 90 you can actually create another character you don't have to be 90 to create another character but it's a specific class they it was like their new thing they kind of uh, level locked it behind 90 levels just to incentivize more spending back when it first came out years ago and it was my favorite class it was magic damage and you could build him into kind of a tank he didn't have very good defense but you could build him with a ton of health and it's just kind of how it goes however now we're in a state of there's no way to boost there's no one keeping track of the dungeons so there is a castle siege uh, system in here where there's two main castles. The one main castle for the region that I'm in right now, this, this area, actually gets control of one of the dungeons and they have to set it. The difficulty and the, um, the cleanliness, I guess it's called. And if it's all the way that you can set it to as easy as it can be and as clean as it can be that way the your abilities do more when you're in there and the monsters are weaker and you can actually i mean it you know it makes sense but there's no one controlling that because no one's really playing so it's as hard as it can be so i can't go power level this character 
because there's no way for me to kill those monsters in there. They're just too hard. And uh, this, um, since it's being a new account, I just don't have the resources to do it. I can grind. I mean, I've managed to amass enough gear and stuff to be able to grind and everything. But whenever I first started playing back in 2000, I think, 7. Look at that stuff staying on the screen. <laughs> when I first started playing in 2007, you had a different method. You had to, like, basically create your character and try and get your XP locked by a guild. So you can donate all your XP to a guild. And as long as you're in that guild and the guild master has it set that way, you won't gain any experience. And you can just farm skill experience because if you look over here in the bottom left, I'm getting experience and I'm getting skill experience. Well, every 10,000 skill experience, you get a skill point. Used to, you had to like farm 40 or 50,000 skill points or 200,000 or however much your max was that you needed at like level 12 or 13. And then try and keep yourself from dying the whole time you leveled because there was no way to farm skill points at high level because the monsters take forever to kill at higher level. And you don't get any skill experience. I mean, I'm getting 2,000 now, but it used to be a lot worse. Now they have it to where if the monster is within your level, which I've out-leveled these, so I'm getting like 10 or 20 or 30% less than what I normally would. But whenever I was the same level as them, I was getting like 10,000. You know, I was getting a skill point of kill. Uh, so it has changed, and we that's all we ever asked for was to make it to where getting the skill points was easier and to actually have a decent leveling curve where if we go and grind we can actually make some progress instead of it taking 14 or 15 years to level um, now after you hit I think it's like 130 or 140 you get access to this other uh, region and there's daily quests there so you're quest leveling instead of grinding so you're grinding quests and getting experience that way. So it's a little bit different of an ex of experience. Um, different gameplay based on what level you are. So all you got to do is get your character to about 130, 140. Which isn't too bad when the actual dungeon that everyone uses to level from like level, say level 77 to 115. Whenever that's set to easy, you know, it's pretty easy. You can go in there and kill the monsters, but if it's set to max hardness, uh, you're kind of screwed. And especially if you don't have upgraded uh, gear. That's going to lead me to the next thing I want to talk about is gear. Uh, do you think BDO's RNG is terrible? Well, to get these the accessories, these are just random ones I dropped. They're not very good. They have evasion on them. Uh, which this game is all about evasion. If the monsters don't hit you, they can't kill you. You see, I get a lot of misses. And uh, stuff. But the problem is the gear... And I already talked about the drop rate on stuff. See, I'm getting drops here and there. But if I use boosters out of the cash shop, I'll be getting three, four drops every single kill versus getting one drop every 20 or 30 kills you know it, it, it's very different so and as you can see it's an old glitchy game the graphics aren't great but for 2006 2007 it wasn't really that bad um but you still got things like monsters flying into the ceiling like that you know small things i mean you get stuck you can't jump off of things you can't you can't jump like in uh bdo there's no up and down. Now the the character I was trying to get, he can fly, but it takes place of a mount, and the only and it just makes him run faster. Like he floats in the air, and like your character model becomes a floating guy with wings that flap, and you can't actually fly into the air. Little hand of protection drop there, just of some random potions and crap. You can't actually fly upwards. It just makes you run faster. <laughs> And it's glitchy as all can be. And uh, But like here, you can't jump off the stairs. You're stuck. It just makes you go up or down, depending on which way you tilt the camera. So, you know, uh, it it's your general run-of-the-mill 2003 to 2007 game. You know, it's 
it is what it is and we had a lot of fun with it whenever i was in college because it was new and all fancy back then but it looks outdated now and the character models still don't look that bad uh even for i mean can you imagine in 2006 the character models look great for back then um and even some of the monsters but it, some of the textures aren't very good but now back to the gear uh situation so this weapon i'm using is plus five and you know that might not mean any anything to anybody that doesn't no last chaos or play it but uh plus 30 is the max and you think black desert is bad uh for those of you that are subbed to my channel for black desert you think the upgrading system in black desert is bad well here let me let me introduce last chaos to you so you have to drop enhancement stones and they're called heaven stones and they're the biggest pain in the ass they've reworked the system but used to it would be uh even worse I've only had a handful of them in the few days that I've been grinding here. It's They're difficult to come by, apparently. Um, and used to, you could just buy them from other players, you know, because there was an event that would give away, like, 10 or 15 of them every Sunday. If you did the event and got the answers right, it was just a stand on this side of the room if, for X, stand on the other side of the room for O, and then, you know, you get kicked out of the room if... You got the answer wrong. But, uh, and then at the end, if you made it through all 20 questions, it was just questions about the game. Uh, if you made it through, you got like 10 or ten or 20, maybe 15 uh, of the Heaven Stones. And then everybody would sell them, you know. And then you'd get them while you were playing. But I got to kill these monsters out of here. They're blue. They don't really do anything for me, but I got to get, uh, get them out of here because I'm... Uh, very susceptible to magic damage. I take a lot of damage from it if they hit me. When you only got 6,000 health and no way to really heal it except for these small little potions, the um, 2 and 300 a hit really do a lot. And these guys, they don't do much to me, but, but they're physical. Anyway, so everybody would get upgrade stones and you could buy them from other players, but there's no way for me to buy them because there's really no one playing. And if there is somebody, you know, the people that do play, they're stockpiling theirs because they need them too. So there's no way to get it. But uh, the only way I've made it this far is I took place in what they call the guardian system. You have a higher level player that is a guardian and you become their apprentice and they help you out. Which, the guy that I chose in my garden, he didn't really help me too much. I didn't have him, like, killing things for me or doing any of that stuff. But, um, hey look, the server picks somebody random every little bit to receive some uh, free stuff. And so I got free moonstones, and they're like the lottery. You know, you, um, you click this little lockable thing, and then as long as you have whatever's up here in this top bar, you can roll for a random, random thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, the guardian system gave me this plus 15 weapon that has that much damage. Now the da the weapon I have more has, have now has a lot more damage, but this got me through the early levels and then it gave me an armor set to that was plus 10 and it's level 40 something that got me through and I'm still using it until I can replace it with my, um, other things that have just a little bit less so that's 101, so that's 180, and this one has 160. It has a little bit less defense, but has a ton of evasion seals on it. So I have a whole lot more evasion, which is more important to me than... Uh, I better get moving. I'm going to get myself killed. That's the big boss for this little bitty area here. I'm not sure I really want to kill that thing, because I don't think I have time. Anyway, I managed to uh, find a guy selling the weapon that I got, so I picked it up. Before, I was just renting a weapon from an NPC. You know, you pay like a million of their currency, which is the gold. And then, uh, let me use ignition to see if this works. I don't have time for this. I'm going to kill these small things and then just leave that guy. I need to kill that big guy because he's the one that gives me a lot of experience for this level that I'm at still. Uh, I've kind of out-leveled this place, but 
I don't really have, like I said, the next place I need to level uh, is too hard. And we'll go ahead and kill this guy before I run back in. But I'm basically just clearing that one room and then resetting. Because the higher, um, the higher rooms are just, they're just difficult. You know, you're, you're, the dodge mechanics are just bad and it's just bad stuff, but... But this is how I've been leveling in here now uh, and trying to focus on getting some gear and the just, you know, testing out the, the game in general. But these monsters that I've been uh, killing here on screen, they actually dropped this set of armor, but then I explained you got to unlock the seals. Well, I did that a few times over the course of the last couple of days and I got the best that I can possibly get from them. Green is the best for them. Uh, other monsters drop other gear that have the potential to be blue and have five seals or six seals instead of the four. So, you know, there is that. You just basically uh, have to farm it. It's all RNG. And to upgrade the gear, the gear can go, like I said, to plus 30, I think. Yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game. Uh, so there's still stuff that I could be getting wrong that have changed over the years. Spam potions and run. Just run past them. But, uh... The BDO players will be used to the upgrade system there where you get fail stacks. Well, you don't get fail stacks here. And the percentages go down and down and down and down. So, I think this, when I go to upgrade this, it'll be like a 40-something percent chance. But you can upgrade stones, which is probably what I need to do. So I need to get several stones and then meld them together to get a higher tier upgrade stone. And then I'll get a higher chance to upgrade. Uh, it's just how it works. But if, if it fails, my gear could have three possible things if it fails. Uh, one, no change. Well, I say three. There's four possible outcomes of when I put that stone on that on that uh, piece of gear. One, it could ex succeed, and you get a plus one enhancement. Two, it could fail and nothing will happen. Three, it could fail and downgrade. Why am I not doing any damage to this guy? That's the, the old glitchy gameplay I'm talking about. But three, it could downgrade. So it could go from plus five to plus four, which is infuriating. Or, the last, and what usually happens, the worst, it could fail and the item gets destroyed. <laughs> now, don't worry, you can stop that happening by spending real money and getting a, a run of protection to keep it from destroying it. But of course, it's still going to downgrade, so, you know, it's like the Cronstone system. But, instead of only downgrading on actual gear, it, it you know, it could break. So, compared to uh, BDO, this game is terrible it's a lot worse um the i always hated the upgrade system so what the way we would get around that is you would get yourself established with a decent set of gear which is why i got the green stuff here and then you would just buy something better you know you good enough to farm and then buy from other players well i can't do that because no one's playing the game right and this is why i made the video a few days ago of the com that a community makes an art mmorpg it doesn't matter how well you liked the game it doesn't matter how good the gameplay is if it's an mmorpg and is designed to be played by a massive amount of people and there's no one playing it the game's useless like i can i can go through here and grind and grind and grind and grind all fucking day long and i can reach max level eventually i can max my character out i can get the best gear in the game eventually you know grinding doing it by myself that's fine but at the end of the day why why do it there's no one to play with uh there's no one to pvp against there's no one to run the sieges with or against uh the journey's harder because there's no one here to buy stuff from or even help me or give me stuff or no one for me to help or give stuff to or sell stuff to you know it, it's it's an empty shell uh and you can argue that all games are just kind of a time sink. Yeah, they are a time sink. It's the purpose of them to spend time. Or if you look at it a certain way, to waste time. 
but I don't see it as wasting time if you enjoy it. And see, look, there's a there's a drop that I just I just got from that. Um, I might I, I tee that one. No, I won't because it's lower plus. But um, that that's all there is to it. You know, without without people in the game to populate it, you might as well be playing a single player game with NPCs. And that's why I get frustrated with Black Desert a lot of the time, is because of the fact that you know it feels like a single player game. Yeah, there's people running around. You can buy stuff from the agent. But you're still just buying stuff from an NPC. You really are. And so, you know... I don't know why I'm still in here killing. Dungeon time is over. So every two hours... For two hours... It's on a four hour rotation. Uh, two hours on, two hours off. You get dungeon time. It gives you plus 50% XP. Right? And it's kind of useless to level outside... Unless you're just stuck outside of a dungeon somewhere leveling. But... These are considered dungeons, so I get 50% more XP every couple hours for a two-hour rotation. Uh, but I'll finish this video off and then get out of here. But I wanted to get this to a state of 77, um, and so I can wear the full set. Because this gear is level locked. If you're not, I can't put it on. Uh, and like I said, it's class specific, so it's very different than uh, Black Desert to where you have to level up. Levels are everything in this game. You get higher level, uh, you get more powerful, you get more stat points, you get access to better skills, and then better gear in turn. But um, everything is uh, centered or focused around grinding, and the cash shop is there to make that grind easier, and it's very pay to win. Sorry about that. Had to sneeze. Come on, game. It'll come back here in a second. There we go. But it, it's all very um, focused on making you spend money, which, you know, that's what games... Games have to be paid for, and you can't operate for free. So I do believe in supporting the game that I play, but I don't believe in predatory practices where they basically make it impossible to play if you don't spend. You know, because there are people that spend ex absorbent amounts of, of money on these games. And so the people that don't pay anything, it balances out. You know, if, if you need uh, $3 or $5 per person to make a profit over operation and production costs, it's going to... It's going to average out and you're still going to make money, right, in the long run. But uh, my thing that I, my takeaway on that is that I want the option to be able to pay when I want. But I don't want to be forced to do something. It's why I get so burnt out on Black Desert. It's like I feel forced and fear of missing out is a dirty, dirty practice and I hate it. So I just get frustrated, and uh, that's why I've been making some different content recently. I've still got, I still have Black Desert running in the background. It never shuts off. I just set up fishing and uh, let it let it run. But but back to this game. Uh, I'll eventually, hopefully, get up. I wanted to get to 77, uh, which we're getting close. It's not too bad leveling yet, just by killing stuff in these dungeons. Uh, but I think if I hit 77 on here and then put my gear on my next gear set, I should be able to go to the next dungeon and not get hit hardly at all. And I'll, I, the camera work in this uh, game is kind of bad. See, I can't, I can't click on that monster because my camera is kind of being blocked by the train. And it, it's weird. But I think if I do that, I can go to the next area that I need to level at. Come on, monster. Quit glitching in the wall. I know where I gotta go. I gotta go up here to get him. See, look. Like, they're clipping through stuff. And that guy was actually up here instead of down there. But that's just an old design flaw in some games. Uh, from, from that decade. From the 2000 to 2010 decade. 
Uh, it's just one of those things that happened uh, back then a lot. But I'll jump out of this dungeon. I only got one inventory slot left, which you can buy more. There's a couple over here on the side that uh, you can pay for. And then there's also premium uh, benefits that you can buy here. So it's not... It's not... Um, it's free, but it's really not. All these scrolls and stuff, I bought those from an NPC. You can teleport anywhere. But I'll show you a couple more things with the gear before I end this off. It's been about 30 minutes. Uh, we'll go back to the main town. See, there's there's these four uh, towns. This is a starting town, low-level area. This is the neck. Uh, Merrick is a third. Uh, Dratton is the one that we're in. So I guess there's five zones. Uh, you can't teleport to Dratton because we're already here. Merrick is the third place. This place you got to be at least level 60 to get into, or at least you used to, you had to. I think it was like 60 or 70. Uh, and then this is the higher level where the monsters are like in their hundreds. Um, and then there's several dungeons spread out through these that have higher level uh, monsters as well. But Juno is where it all started. And this place looks very, very different compared to when I played whenever I was uh, younger. Very, very different. Um layout they they updated it in recent years and i don't like it i i prefer the old old style but here's like an npc a group of npcs but here is what you got to do for identifying gear you got to have a magnifying glass it's a gold sink buy one double click it and then put whatever gear you were looking to uh identify in there and then it's an rng based thing whether you get the seals you get see i got green three evasion uh the name is green and then there's three evasion seals uh the ones i have on are green four evasion so they're better there's no point in even using those but uh, i usually just sell all this junk to the npc and you can't can't right click you got to double click them all i mean the systems are just ar archaic the quality of life uh upgrades are were definitely welcomed in newer games right i can't believe we spent so much time uh playing this with how bad the systems are i was hoping i would get an upgrade stone so i could show you just how uh the upgrade system works but i'm not gonna break the only uh weapon i got just to uh, show that off But there we go. We have, uh, and I don't really need that item. We got another accessory. But just to get to the point where I was when I was trying to get up to level like 60 or so, I ended up uh, crafting all these minerals. I had to go through a, um, you have to have an accessory, a powder, and a stone from breaking down gear. And then you can craft and you get... One mineral, but uh, that's about the, that's about what you get in the crafting in this game. There's not much. There's a couple of resources that you can mine or farm. Here's the bank system. You can deposit, but you can't double click to deposit. You can't right click. You got to drag your items one at a time. Yeah. Frustrating as all hell. But that's all I got. This is where I started out. You know, I, I got into MMORPGs and then I moved on to Perfect World International and then Forsaken World and Terra and uh, Wildstar. Played, um, I tried out Rift, didn't like it. Tried out Ion, didn't like it. I don't know why, since this is such a Korean grinder, I don't know why I had issues with the rest of them. But um, I just don't like, if I don't like the combat in the game, uh, I prefer this style of combat where you're just tab targeting. And be, and that's just because of my wrist. Uh, Carpal Tunnel runs in my, in my family. Uh, so I have it to begin with. So it's kind of, kind of an issue. I play in the last few days, the wrist have been on fire. Um... And that's why I don't do well in FPS games either. I can't I can't use a controller because holding a controller makes my hands go numb <laughs> after about three minutes of holding it. 
and then uh, so I use mouse and keyboard and you know I'm not very good it's just it's just how it goes but but here's a one-off video I probably will unless you, unless people just want more last chaos I probably won't spend my time recording it uh, I may end up grinding up to 90 and starting the character that I actually wanted to play and uh, going from there but but if you do want to see it leave me a comment and tell me because otherwise I'm not gonna know and I probably will not just voluntarily make content on it regularly uh, I'll probably do it here and there every once in a while uh, it just it really depends on my mood and I don't really feel like grinding in a game that's going nowhere I mean I mean it's a dying game it's 15 years old and it's not coming back it's not it's not popular it never gained the popularity like RuneScape did so the the player base just isn't there and I was informed that the Eurebia server or Eurebia I, I don't know how to say that but whatever this server is fairly new they merged a bunch of servers and created this one and it's only been here for about eight or nine months and so that's why the player base is small. There's another set of servers, so it has a two-server list with six channels each. Uh, the other server is more populated, is what a couple of people on here that actually played told me. And in this game, they had uh, glitches or to where you could exploit and duplicate items. So they took out the trading agents, so there's no way to buy anything uh, from like a trader agent. So you just have to basically set down a little personal shop where you got ten slots. And... You put stuff in. That's it. So you got to leave it your character online just to sell. But there's no there's nobody here to buy. Like these two guys have been sitting here the last few days. I've been playing and and nobody nobody buys their stuff because there's just nobody there to buy. Um, but if you go look at the leaderboards, the max level is 190. That was glitchy. And there's only two th there's only four people that are 190. And they've been 190. This guy was 190 back in January, February, June, July, you know, and then further, further on down. But um, me, it hasn't reset yet. Whenever it did it, I was level 32, and that was on the 14th. So like I said, I've been playing maybe a week, four or five days. Uh, I'm level 75 now. So if I go, I won't be on the overall rankings because it goes down to 100. But if I go to the Titan which is the class I'm playing, 75, I'll be like well into the top 10s um, because they're just, nobody's playing. So I was ranked 21, but I'll be like ranked 7 or 8. I'll be ranked 8. It's crazy. Just craziness. But leave me a like if you uh, enjoyed the look back in the past. If you played this game, you know, uh, let me know. I'm always looking for a fellow guy, and heck, if, if uh, I got a bunch of people that want to come play with me on the server, then maybe we can repopulate the game and get somewhere. But uh, other than that, I won't make, I won't waste everybody's time making a bunch of content no one wants to see. And this is made, playing this the last few days has, has made me learn that Black Desert is the exact game that I've been looking for. It is just like this game. It's grindy, the same as a lot of the same systems. It just has updated action combat and better graphics. But, you know, the, the quests don't really matter. And this game has quests that don't matter. The crafting is a lot better in Black Desert, obviously. Uh, it's what it's known for is the combat and the life skilling. But the, uh, there's no, there isn't really any raids. I think Last Gas has one raid uh, or two, something later on. But, you know, that's at end game, high levels. And Last Chaos system, you can, if it's in the game, you can bet that it's not very good because they half-ass everything. But they 100% uh, tried back then. And they just wanted to churn out a game they could cash grab on. And I kind of feel that sometimes Black Desert's like that too, in some ways. But, I'm going to get off of here, and uh, you guys will see this Tuesday. Which, you already are watching it. But, um, I figured it would be good to give a little variety to the channel. Uh, I'm going to go record some more stuff. 
and uh, I've got a lot of stuff I got to release this week. So hope you guys enjoy. Let me like, and I'm gonna stop begging for attention. <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, see you later. As always, until next time. <laughs>